Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and here we are, back with another episode of The Bad Batch. Episode 3 today, titled The Solitary Clone, which we're gonna be dealing with a lonely loner clone here. Is it Cody? Is it Rex? Is it somebody else? I don't know. We'll find out. But yeah, it's the show as expected. A good show so far. I've been enjoying it. And that's all I have to say, I guess. Um, uh recovering from being sick a little bit luckily getting better so that's good so anyways without further ado let's get on to episode three of the bad batch season two Ooh, the color so vibrant is this forced labor farming? Cool outfits. I am Tony Ames, governor of Desert. Ooh, <clears throat> coming in I hard. I am here to relieve you of your title, Mistress Ames. He's nervous. By order of the Galactic Empire. Desix does not fall under imperial jurisdiction. Ooh. Take your forces and leave peacefully. Well, your request has been received, reviewed, and as you can see, rejected. Oh, oh! Hello! She showed her hand. <clears throat> hey! We get to see him again. Are you loving the life? You loving that choice you made, Crosshair? Oh, he's the solitary clone. Odd man out. Not for dead, and yet you still came back. <laughs> Why? I am a soldier of the Empire. Dude. I see. Your loyalty and determination are commendable. We do not negotiate. You're being sent in under the guise of discussing a diplomatic resolution. Your new commander will brief you on the details. Ooh. Report to the battle memorial at 0900 hours. You. It's, it's gotta be the same story. Uh, Cassus, gosh, what am I spacing his name? Rebels man. Wait. Wait. It's been a while. Good to see you. Cody, I didn't recognize you. You little turd! Yeah. A lot's changed, as you well know. Your squad was different by design. Is that his own scar? That's Rex not like what Chip was, too. right? So I've heard. Rumors are more and more clones have been questioning the Then Oof, they are his traitors. Head. Like the Jedi. Oh, Cody. Well, good soldiers follow orders. I am the legitimate governor of Desix, you scrap heap! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You'll have your freedom once we have ours. Dooku was right there we in go. the end. He knew the Republic was corrupt. That it would collapse and become something worse. Wow. He saw it. I feel bad for him. He's clearly a noob. And he's like, what did I get myself into? The airstrike team. Only a little bit position. sorry. So we know what they're capable of. Ah, mixed feelings. Cody and Crosshair are aboard, and the other clones. But they're also here to take these people's independency away. course cody and crosshair lone survivors okay there we go i'm like no Our way too to continue. Beaten clankers with far less. it's so interesting you were like who do i root for any direction we come at that tank they'll pick us off <sighs> these tanks all have the same weakness where did that come from he didn't even move He's watching where they're shooting from. Dude, you're playing with fire. He's waiting for them to shoot exactly. It's okay. We are here to help. Really? Yeah. They don't you want you that. at all. Try to Droidicas! <gasps> Oh snap. Wow, they got lucky. 
lucky there. Commando droids, right? Oh, snap. Ah, who am I rooting? I don't know who I'm rooting for. Do you think that would have looked? I guess they have gloves on. Okay. Oof. Oh, snap. Unreal. I'm Tony Ames, the rightful governor. That name sounds we familiar, have too. Imperial orders. Desic separated from the Republic years ago. Commander. We were defending ourselves from a hostile occupation. Your forces are the only threat to my people. We are not the enemy. The Empire seeks to establish peace and order throughout the galaxy. So much so, my colleague Mina Bonteri and I put forth a treaty with Separatists and Republic Senators alike mm. to end the war. Your Supreme Chancellor rejected it. This is a callback. I realized then, peace was never an option. Was she like one of the Separatist heads? It's an option now. Too many people have died already. We can resolve mm. this without more bloodshed. Cody. <clears throat> wow, Nicely Cody, handled. Good, good... Now execute her. Sir, I promised a peaceful... You did, I didn't. Now execute her. Crosshair's gonna do it. So much for peace. Oh, I gave you an order. Follow it, oh. or face the consequences for dis- <sighs> Put her body in the square. Let it be a warning to the rest of them. I shouldn't have felt bad about him. As I should have expected. Yeah, do you think something's wrong with this, bud? You're questioning some things, your orders, your mission. You think he's gonna get reprimanded for not listening? Come on, Cody, find Rexy boy. But so sad. It's like slowly they're getting replaced, slowly their purpose has been taken away and changed. <sighs> this music hurts. Are we making the galaxy better? We're soldiers. We do what needs to be done. Well, you know what makes us different from battle droids? We make our own decisions. Our own choices. Mm-hmm. And... We have to live with them, too. Ooh. I think Crosshair... Stopped and thought a little bit there. It appears he has gone a wall. Woo! Clone loyalty does not seem to be as advertised anymore. Funny, isn't it? How these clones around you keep disappearing. You better watch your back. He didn't even know he's like Cody. I don't know them by their names. You don't get identity. You don't get choice. Oh. Ah. Oh. Wow. Another one bites the dust. In a good way? Cody finally goes AWOL. This was the this was the episode that let Cody have his breaking point. His questioning. Finally realizing the empire that I'm fighting for is not doing the galaxy better. Which I think is a very interesting thing before. You know, obviously they were ingrained with fighting for the Republic, for the empire. But not only just following orders, they have a conscious morality in their own right, right? To make these choices and believing that what they're doing is good and for the betterment of the galaxy whatnot and now he's questioning oh i did 
it's not just default what I'm doing is for the betterment. I am clearly seeing counter to my beliefs that we are literally killing leaders who wanted to be peaceful. Like, you know, war etiquette, you know, if somebody surrenders, you might take, you would take them as a prisoner. You wouldn't execute them. You would imprison them or you release them. You would work with them, but they're not playing by those rules. They're saying that's what you get for not listening to us in the first place and you're clearly a disobedient individual so we're just gonna take you out you're da you're dangerous especially since he talked her down and he made a promise and then that promise got taken away he didn't have a choice he didn't have a say like they said there is no negotiation it's just do or do not and even when he was telling those that mother and child he was saying hey we don't, we come, you know, we come in peace. We're here to help you. And they're like, what? No, buddy, you're on the enemy side. You're the people we are fighting against. He didn't realize that until just now. So Cody's gone AWOL. Is he gonna show up somewhere else? Was that just the show story right there that we're just seeing? Clearly he left on his own accords. He saw that it wasn't for them. The show is leading up and, you know, giving us little whispers even with Rampart saying there, he's like, aren't you noticing that all your little clone buddies, it's not a guarantee now that they're staying. Not only was he saying that they're non-dependable, but also su suggesting you guys are gonna get slowly pushed out of the system. So that's making Crosshair a little bit uneasy, having some of the people he looked up after leaving or things are happening to them. He can't trust the system he's leaked so much in. You know, there's obviously, there's some stubbornness there. There's some very much logistical beliefs in following the system, but there's some stubbornness too. And like, maybe he doesn't want to show that he was wrong and he made some poor choices. And he has to live with those consequences, live with those choices, like Cody was saying. You know, you might not think about your choices. You're like, I'm just doing what I'm told. I'm doing my orders. They're like, no, wait, stop. The difference between you and a droid is you have a choice. You're not literally computed. Now, in some degree, they had a chip that pushed against some things, like the Ditter in Order, Execute Order 66, when they were killing the Jedi. But in these everyday encounters, they have a choice. So anyways, I just really like this. This show is really deep, diving deep into the individualism of clones of these beings and the empire basically countering that not letting them have their individual names and persona seeing them as just a means to an end until they're going to be replaced right they don't care about them they're just bodies you know and that certainly has happened and existed before in the republic let's not pretend that that wasn't what some jedis jedis said General Krell. There was clearly a tie-in. I don't remember in the top of my head Clone Wars episode, but they're clearly tying in Dooku and Separatists and them trying to have a treaty of agreement. And I'm pretty sure she was some person higher up of Separatists in like that council, you know? I just can't. I'm like, she looked familiar. I just can't piece it personally. But the show's doing a great job of bringing in that difficult thing about in general, like in our like world, like war and choices and consequences. But in the regards to this story specifically, that not everything they're fighting for is what it was originally fighting for. Things have changed, that they do have a choice, that it's hard literally being created for this one sole purpose of fighting with the Republic for the Empire. And then literally you have to question everything that you've ever known and believed in. It's a, it's a hard thing to do. It really is. Everyone, you know, everyone in our lives, we know, struggles with things that they're brought up with nurturing nature and nurture. And they are coming to terms with coming, literally deciding for themselves and taking a big change and leap into an uncomfortable zone and going against everything they believed in, believed in because it's changed. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. There's plenty more to go with this season and they're going to certainly continue in that direction as they're leading into what we're seeing with the Bad Batch crew, the Clone 99s, um, them slowly realizing that there's more of a purpose than surviving and doing something feeling of a purpose for wanting to do betterment for the galaxy. And maybe that's where Cody's gonna lead into. Maybe they are in their own ways going to help with the rebels. Maybe it's just not agreeing to fight with the Empire anymore. I like that they're just, that they're showing this that there's this choice and ultimately it com it comes to terms with if they understand what's truly going on and happening, it shows the character of the individual. 
So yeah, I'm really liking this show. It's really good and I'm excited to see more. Um, love to see that continual character development. So, and this was an episode we didn't see. We only saw, I mean, we saw Crosshair. We haven't seen him in a while. We got to see Cody and we didn't see any of the other, the Bad Batch crew. Yeah, anyways, guys, thanks for being here and watching and listening. If you made it this far, hey. <laughs> Um, if you want to show support, you know what to do. Go ahead and like the video if you enjoyed it. And if you want to show support for the channel, if you're not already, subscribe. And put on the notification bell. That'll let you know when videos get uploaded and are live and you can watch them. I don't have a set schedule, so that's the best way to go. And you won't be harassed because I don't upload a lot. So it'll be nice and good. Nice and good. Yep. So, uh... Anyways, yeah, thanks guys for being here. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you on the next one.